Brad, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> well, actually, this is pretty cool. Um, it's a magnifier. It's a magnifying glass that fits on the uh, phone. And huh. I have a really bad scar on my thumb there. And um, that was from when I was about four. And I was playing with a big butcher. And I said, I've been playing with knives for a long time. And my sister come along and said, you shouldn't have that. She's two years older than me, much wiser. She was like six. So anyway, I turned it around and handed her the handle. Then I decided that I wanted the knife back. So I give it a pull and it really laid my thumb open. Um, so anyway, I was handed this, and uh, so now I'm just kind of playing with it, and I thought, well, let's look at my scar. So I just put this hole here over it, and then I, I get to looking here, and I don't know what you're gonna see, okay, but you can definitely see the, the line there, and <laughs> this is too funny. Um, and I, I don't know which way it goes, but anyway, there's a, a considerable pucker in the skin there, and it goes right on down, and then it goes up this way. And uh, so anyway, I got looking at that, and I thought, well, that's pretty cool. So I was looking at my fingerprints, and it's like, well, that's actually pretty cool. So I'm going to see, I had said before on a video, you can tell that my knives have been sharpened with a, a tungsten carbide sharpener because it leaves a slightly irregular blade like that. Now this blade was in really bad shape. It had nicks in it, still got nicks in it. Um, it's a kitchen knife. Uh, it's been kind of mistreated, I think. But I'm gonna see if I can hold this in a, in a way that we can actually look. Uh, let's see, you gotta have it up that way, so I gotta have it this way, and I gotta be able to see what I'm doing. Um, so the cutting it, oh wow, look, would you look at that? My gosh. Okay, now that's pretty smooth right there. Uh, and I did run it through the V-notch a few times and then I didn't sharpen it too much. Okay, there's some stuff that's on the blade. That's probably little uh, metal shavings because it got magnetized a little bit. So let's run on out here. There's some little problems in the blade there. There's some nicks right there around that square. If I move it, maybe it'll square again. There it squares, okay. Um, now there's some more damage on the blade right there. Uh, this is pretty good magnification. That's actually pretty funny. I'm going to move out to the tip a little ways here because it's worse out there. And so we'll move it along. Oop, oop, come on. Oop, stay up there just like this and move right on out to the tip. Uh, actually this blade's in pretty fair condition uh, as you look at it. All right, so we just move right along here. Wow, if that isn't something. Um, new play toy. So uh, we'll, oh, it's got a light in it. That's why it's a little bit better. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool stuff. Uh, so anyway, I'll find ways to play with this and, um, you know. Do you have a sharpener on you? Let's see your 90 that. degree. Yeah, um, actually my old, one of my old Interesting. sharpeners. Okay. Okay, so this one. So oh, let's see it first. I want to see this. Okay. Part. All right. So it's my sharpener that's on my keys. I just used it a little while ago on a video that we that you'll be seeing. And uh, anyway, it's a little chewed up. The plastic is a little chewed up. It's a little discolored. Um, it's it's been around the block a few times. Okay. So let's uh, put it under magnification. I got to be able to see what we're doing, what I'm doing. So we do this. All right. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, wow. You can see that so good. All right. Now, anybody, I get people that say, oh, mine's worn out. Uh, well, when'd you buy it? Oh, I've had it like six months or something. Mine's worn out. And I, of course, I chuckle and I laugh. Um, and I ask them to send it new. back to me. You know, yeah, it looks brand new. Look at those corners. Okay. I'm going to move it down. Try too slowly without jerking too much. All right. Look at the corners on it. Okay. Wow. I mean, those corners are just as sharp and crisp as can be. Um, that's a little bit of proof. So let's look uh, at a brand. Well, it's not brand new. I've used it a little bit, but this is a lot newer than, than the one on my keys. Okay. So the red one, mm -hmm. different one. Uh, it's more highly polished. It's actually... Uh, made sharper than those. Uh, that one's only ground on one side. This is ground on three sides, so it gives you a sharper corner. So a sharper corner would wear off faster. All right, so let's see. All right, I'm going to let it focus and everything, and then you can get as close or whatever, and I won't move it all around. 
Um, those corners are completely sharp. I see one little tiny place. And, and when you carry more than one of these sharpeners in your pocket, oh, shut off. When you carry more than one of these in your pocket, you do have a chance of the two carbides getting together and rubbing on each other. Carbide's the only thing or diamond that will take an edge off of this or put a ding in it. So I really wouldn't suggest that you carry two or three or four of these in the same pocket because uh, they will have a tendency to fight and argue with each other. So, um, you know, that's just another kind of a fun thing. It was a fun thing to work with this. It was fun to show uh, what the edges still look like after being used for a while. And um, so this is Brad goofing off, uh, you know, bringing you another video, just kind of showing you some things uh, that you may not think of looking at yourself and doing things, you know, we don't hurt, rehearse anything. I didn't know there was a light in there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. You take care and you stay sharp out there.